Hi everybody, how are y'all doing today? Let's see, can I get this to put back in the car? Let's talk about today. It's a beautiful day today. Thank you, Lord, for letting me see this beautiful, beautiful day today. Put that in the van. Let's talk about haters and let's talk about liars. I don't like no liar and I don't like no haters. You know, you have to stick around people that lie real, real bad. I got two people that... I used to hang with they two young ladies. They lie so bad. Oh, I don't like no liar. Tell the truth. Liars can get you in a lot of trouble, so you got to cut back from them. So, and another thing is when people lie and lie and lie and lie, cut, cut loose from them kind of people because they'll try to bring you down and get you in trouble. But still speak to them, leave them with a nice spoon, nice kind, but just stay away from them. That's what I do now. I can't stand no lie. I can't stand no damn lie. I can I don't like that. They just do something to me. And I catch in a lie. Every time she lie, I call the people and see if it's true and it'll be a damn lie. No, I'm gonna call right behind you and see if you're telling the truth because you're lying in front of my face. I'm gonna know anyway. Cause I can tell when I see a liar. So you can't lie to me and you can't get away around me. You know I'm studying to be a lawyer. That's in a private detective, that's me. So I'm going to catch shit a lie. My family tell you that they can't get over me because I'm smart. I'm going to know you're lying. So therefore, why you lie? Hmm? But anyway, what I was saying was that uh, I can't stand that. They just do something to me. And haters out there, I'm doing real good. Don't y'all see them happy, smiling, keep hating on me. I just love y'all when y'all hate on me. I feel so damn good when you hate on me. Damn, I feel good. I'm doing some good. Y'all worrying about book. Damn, I'm doing good. Because guess what? I must be one. I don't want to be doing good if you ain't worrying about me. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for worrying about book. So, comparatively, I'm doing some damn good. Thank you. Boy, I'm so happy. I'm just sitting out the door, relaxing, enjoying life. Thank God that I'm here to see another day and getting ready to remodel my house and add on. That's why that's what I got to do. So I got things to do. I don't have things I got things to do around here. I don't have things to do around what's what going by what people say and what people do. Baby, I worry about book. So comparatively y'all worry about the wrong thing, cause guess what? I'm doing good on this end over here. So how about y'all? Is y'all doing good? Hmm, haters. Please tell me that. Y'all worrying about me. Hmm? Hey, Miss Van. Hey, don't they hate? They hating on you too, you're a beautiful woman. Hold on to your man, baby, and let them hate, Miss Van. You deserve to be happy. And your friend Buck said that. They got a problem, tell them to come holler at me. You know, I just tell it like it I is is. I don't sugarcoat on my life. I speak the truth. The truth will set you free. But anyway, y'all know I must tell you about your tales, haters. So, apparently... All of y'all worrying about me, get you a house instead of going out there, buy you a car. Half of y'all, I hang when ain't got no house, no car. So stop hating on me. Get like me, don't be like me, get like me. Because I'm happy for you, you can do the same thing. I'm happy for anybody. Don't hate on me because I came up the hard way. Hmm? Okay? Thank you, cuz. I know you're right, cuz. They hating on me down here. They don't want folk out there to come down here and do the cuz. How you and Sonya them doing? They, they, a libel is a hate of town. And, you know, but I love for them to hate on me because I'm doing, I get, I go out and buy stuff and, and wait till I get my new ride next year. Y'all really going to be hating on me. I ain't done yet, haters. I'm just getting started. I love for y'all to hate on me. Keep hating, baby. Because I'm going to give you enough to hate on. <laughs> Comparatively, y'all want to be me so bad. Baby, it's just on the one me. One me. So, you can't be me. It's just on the one book. And that's me.
so I'm sorry you can't get in there another buck buck buck. It's just one buck 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 and that's me. But anyway, y'all just keep hating. I love that. Oh, I just love y'all haters. Y'all just don't know. It turns me on when I see people hates on me. It makes me go and buy things. It makes me go and do things. It makes me just make you hate more. I love that. That's how you do. That's how you do a motherfucker. When they hate on you, you keep going buying. Buy for your house, buy your new car, buy your stuff. Make them hate. Yeah. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I'm just getting started. Hmm? I'm remodeling my whole house. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Hmm? As long as I got God in my life, nothing, nobody can't touch me. Because I got God on my side. When you ain't got God, you ain't got nobody. So devil, bring it on. Because anytime you think you can bring God down, come on. Because Satan, you can't bring the Lord down, God down. God is more powerful than y'all devils and haters. Yes, yes, yes. That's me. I'm on God's side. Yes, yes, yes. I'm God's child. Y'all can't touch me. Y'all been trying to bring me down for years. Look, I'm still standing. In the name of Jesus. So what make you can think you can bring me down now? The hole you go step on, the hole you want to try to make me fall in, you going to be the one falling in the hole, not me. In the name of Jesus. How about that? Hmm? And I still pray for y'all haters. And I hope that y'all can change y'all life, change y'all ways. Because you need Jesus in your life. That's all I know. Stop being so jealous and hateful towards people. Do, pe do for people like I do. That's how I get my blessings. I go around helping older people, young people. I help everybody. I don't go around down on people. So when you get like that, God will help you. So don't hate on me. Keep hating. Because see, guess what? I got a good heart. But I just ain't going to let no haters run over me. I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to pray for you. That's what I wanted to bring out. When you see a person hate on you, you make them keep hating more and more and more. They can't touch you. That's all you got to do. And guess what? They don't pay your bills. They don't put food on your table. And they darn sure don't pay you my bills. When y'all pay my mother's bills, my tax, my tax coming up now. So y'all haters, if y'all want to be my friend, pay my tax. Pay my tax for me. How about that? <laughs> They're going to be paid regardless. Y'all don't have to pay it. It already paid. But anyway, that's why I try to tell people how you got a heart to hate somebody. I don't. Never was a hater. Never will. Never was jealous. I'm happy for everybody. That's how you get your blessings. Because, baby. I can't live that way, hating on nobody, doing somebody in the kind of way. I treat you as you want to be treated. But when you come after me, that's when I get even with you. I'll be nice to you, but don't mess with me. Because when you think you can try to bring me down, that's when Big the Newman come out of me then. That's the side you don't want to see. So don't get it twisted now. Because I can be on you know what when I want to be, but I'm going to be nice today. I have my good days. I'm in a good day today. Because guess what? I'm in God's shelter today. All around me, the Lord is with me today. But I'm just bringing out a point to everybody. You be nice to people, but don't let people run over you. God don't please nobody running over you neither. You know, I talked to a preacher the other day. He said, uh, when you be nice to people, he said, uh, now, it's good to be good to people, but... God don't please you needed to be a fool for people. See, because let me tell you how that go. That mean when God bless you, then you go out and make a fool out of yourself towards somebody else. That mean you knocking your blessing trying to help somebody else. And you ain't thanking God what he did for you. That what that mean. So you got to be careful with that too sometimes. In the name of Jesus. Do you understand me? I know my Bible very, very well. Hey, Miss Teresa, how you doing? So, ain't nothing I don't know. I sit here, I study. I took black history in school. I love black history. I don't know why they took it out of school. That's what these kids need to learn our histories. And you learn more 
everything you can learn about black history. So they need to put that back in school. That's my point. Because that's what learned me. How to fight, stand up for myself, and stand my grounds. That's what I do. And I try to help everybody else. I don't care what color you is. Even though it's some of y'all white people get grooves or used. I'm going to help you if you call me on my line. That goes out for anybody because I don't see no color. You cut me right now, we all going to bleed with red. So, and get the prejudice out of you because God ain't prejudiced. God love everyone. Everybody. I love everybody. I don't go around doing anybody any kind of way. I only fight when people come after me. I only tear you off. I only try to bring you down when an enemy and a hater try to bring me down. That's when I fight back. But other than that, I'm a good person. I do have to stand my ground. I can't let y'all haters bring me down. Because you know why? I got to be here to help other people. So I got to, I can't just let you just come and walk me down. No. I have to fight back with the law. You see I'm standing, don't you? Hmm? They got a place for y'all locked up in jail. Because that's where you're going when you're messing with me. Hmm? So, because I left all that fighting alone. I don't fist fight. I fight with the law. That's what I do. So anyway, try to learn how to get along with everybody and try to love one another just like I do. And stop being stupid, stop being dumb, and get Jesus in your life because you need it. And keep that devil out of you because uh, that be the devil going to y'all haters. You know, you get the same thing. Don't play over nobody and try to hate on nobody. And these lazy ships... When people are happy with their relationships, don't try to interrupt with their relationships. You go out there and get your own. Don't try to go get theirs and mess up their home. Keep your own man or keep your own woman or whatever, how you want to do it. But anyway, just don't be bothered with other people's stuff. You know, don't belong to you. Okay? I see a lot of that goes on with relationships too. No, you know, so keep, you know, keep on your own zone. Yeah, and leave everybody else's zone alone. Because you see if somebody else happy with somebody, that don't mean you want to break them up to be happy. Just the devil. That's just the devil. See what I'm saying? I'm just telling the truth. And another thing, let me tell y'all something too about when you have a good relationship with your husband, your wife, or uh, your girlfriend, or your boyfriend. Don't let the devil come to train you. If you sit there and let the devil come in your home and take your love away from you, you may get taken away from you. You fight what belongs to you. See what I'm saying? See, I've been out there in the rural. I've seen it all, and I still see some things right now. But I just pray for them kind of people because they don't need to be doing stuff like that. So that's what I wanted to bring out to everybody. I'm just preaching like it is. And another thing is that uh, if that don't husband, that wife don't belong to you, leave them people husband and their uh, wife alone. Leave them alone. Do you understand me? Now, that's how it's supposed to be. I'm just still tell the truth on my life. I do not hold up for people when they're in the wrong. I don't do that. I speak the truth. That's what I always have did, and that's what I'm always going to do. And another thing, let me tell y'all haters something. Y'all don't have to like me, but guess what? You go give me respect. Do you understand me? You don't have to like me, but you're going to give me respect. You know why I said you going to give me respect? Because I'm going to make you give me respect. You know why? Because when you do some dumb stuff, I'm going to make you correct yourself. That's how I'm going to do that. Do you understand me? That's how you do that. That's how you fight with the law. Hmm? Now, do anybody else want to got a Christmas? That's about the only thing I can think of right now. But don't never let nobody run over you. Don't never let nobody think you ain't nobody because you somebody just like everybody. And when you when a person think you ain't nobody, baby, you show them. There are no messages. I showed them, baby. And I'm still showing them I'm somebody. Do you understand me? That's how you got to do. You got to let these people know who you think you are. Hey, baby, you ain't on this one nobody. Yeah. All I wanted to down me, still down me. And uh, when I got in my house, I had to fight to get in my house. Still had to fight while I'm in my house. Because people don't want me to stay in, in my house. But baby, guess what? This is mine. And I'm going to fight till I stop breathing. 
I am not going to stop until I stop breathing. That's why I tell people, when you come after me, you better be ready. Because I'm going to fight till I can't fight with the law and with my lawyer books. And I will not stop until I stop breathing. So you better know what you're doing when you're coming after me. Because I know the law very, very well. I have all of y'all locked up in jail and throw away the key. Don't mess with me, haters. Especially when some of y'all don't know how to fight. So please learn how with the law because you're going to need it. And save your money like I do because you're going to need it when you're messing with me. <laughs> so anyway, and another thing too I wanted to bring out is like um, how y'all be doing these kids like um, like when they be doing things like in the school, check up on them every now and then because like I say on my other study that uh, sometimes it be the teachers that don't be your kids. So, sometimes your kids, you know your child wrong, but it's two sides of the stairs. Check into that. Make sure that your child is not in the wrong or not in the wrong because sometimes it be two sides of the So half the time it be the teachers bothering with that child. Because I had problems with my two kids, Lil Fred and Catavia, and they was in the wrong. So we put them in private school. They kept picking on them, bullying them for no reason, the teachers. See, teachers goes around to pick on students too. And they had their little picks, so that's why I tell parents take jobs, take a day off, go to uh, the kids meeting out there and check up on them and see how they're doing in school and make sure they're doing all right because people will be out there bullying, you don't know what they're going through. I know y'all be tired getting off of work, but I always ask your child how your day was in school. I don't care how tired you is or you had a bad day on the job, make time for that child because that child can't do it for themselves, but you can. That's what I wanted to bring that out too for the kids. We have to save our kids because that's all they want to do, lock them up. Lock these shunners up all the time. You know what I'm saying? You have to talk to them. My heart goes out to them too. But anyway, I just wanted to bring a point out about that. And um, and everybody have a great, great day because I am. I'm going to clean out my van and play my little golf of music with the Lord and have me a good time. Today was a beautiful, beautiful day, and I thank the Lord for letting me see this day. And I love my family, and I love my second family on Facebook. Y'all are like a family to me, too. And I thank y'all, my fans, for watching me. I love everybody. God bless everybody over the whole world, and everybody be safe. My heart goes out to everybody, not only just my family, everybody in the whole world, because that's how I live, and that's how I breathe. I can't get no sleep. Uh, thinking about is something happening to anybody. I don't care who it is. My heart goes out to people. When you see stuff on the news, you feel so bad that that happened. Oh, you could, first thing that comes to my mind, oh, that could have been me, or that could have been my family, something like that. So don't never think of yourself, think of other people too. That's selfish. Don't just think of yourself or your family. Think about other people too, what other people go through. Because a lot of people go through a lot in life. Just like by winning a store today, um, I know the white guy real good. His son got killed in a car wreck today. It was just so sad. And I just broke down crying, you know. It's just like, it just touched my heart. It just was sad. I know we all got to go. And I told him very, very sorry. But he just cried everywhere about his son. So, so you just have to talk to people and let them know that you love them. Because tomorrow don't promise anything. That's why I tell people, y'all haters, stop hating and get in the Bible and love people and try to go to heaven like me. Because I love everybody. And God bless you all. And have a great, great day.